It's been too long. Well, this is Captain Albert Jerk Tutan, and we're at it again for the big fish. We will see if we can land one. And I want my fish. I want a 30, 40, 50, bring yeah. on hot bag. They're out there. Got a lot of stress on my mind It's a nice day to go Yeah, I got a line I'm a caller The whole team So beautiful out here today, guys. Very, very beautiful. He's hooked up right there, you can see him. Yep, right there, he's fighting it. So beautiful.
one of the main things that I'm doing by putting so many rods out there is I'm continuing on the testing of the Cortland hollow core braid. One of the main things too is, you know, how long it sits on the sand. Will it get cut off? Will it um, get eaten up by the, the sand or the rocks that are there and stuff like that? So even though I'm not catching, I still need to be fishing the, the braid and putting it out there. And right now, like I said, you know, their fish are here. They're catching all around us and stuff like that. But that was also too, it was raising a question in my mind and the question was, am I using the right bait? I mean, obviously uh, they were hitting on shrimp and I got shrimp with the fish bites and I've got shrimp with the fish gum. And that's the way I've caught hundreds and hundreds of thousands of fish. Like I've done it. I've got plenty of proof to, sh you know, that uh, it's been done. However, you know, the guys around me were catching and I wasn't. But at the same time, too, I didn't put too much thought into it because I wanted the lines to sit for the long period of time to ensure that they just didn't fray off and stuff like that. So, again, this is still part of the abrasion testing of the braids. You know, I've been out there where we didn't catch anything, but we just kept losing lines left and right and it was because of the sandbars so by us keeping the lines in the water right here is going to be a really good way to see if they get eaten up um, obviously catching fish is important casting is utterly important too and so i keep checking the baits keep recasting and stuff like that and i'm slowing down the cast so y'all can see it because a lot of people were all questioning too how well does it cast i mean a lot of people had that have not dealt with braid for casting are unsure how it's going to work out so that's why i'm doing this and i keep casting them and you know as you saw it's pretty much been a meet and greet here at the jetties you know talking to all kinds of people from you know everywhere within the states uh other travelers and stuff like that and it's been really really cool you know getting to know a lot of other people and then a lot of our subs are out there too they're stopping by and saying what's up and you know it, it's pretty awesome love it love sharing the knowledge love talking with people and so yep we're gonna keep it going but yeah we got to call it a day on this one trying to get my son's attention he's down the jetty he's like get over here boy <laughs> yep but well we get it
Well, the trip ended with no break-offs. Very nice.